In this video, we will review how to create a data set. In order to create a data set, you must first have a data source. You cannot create a data set without first creating a data source. So to create a data set, we're going to right click, choose new data set. And in this box here, we will have our data sources. So for this data set, we're going to use a database connection. And we're going to name our data set. Next. And for this data set, we are creating a SQL query. So we will just add in some sample query text and click next. And what you get is your output columns. Now your output columns will have all of your column names from your data source, whether it's a query or a file, and display name. Also, you will have a data type. Now uh, you can come in here and edit your display names if you want before you, you use your data set. Next, you have computed columns. So if you wanted to create some kind of derived column from one of your data set columns, you could do that. You would come in here, name the column. If you're using an aggregation, add an aggregation or an expression, JavaScript expression, or you could use a BERT function. Next, you have parameters. So if you've created parameters for your report, you can add your report parameter to a data set. And you have filters. So let's say you want to filter down your query or your file a bit more. You can add a filter here. Your property binding for your query. If you have a long running query, you could add some functionality and your settings. Uh, you could set how many data you want to return or your locale of your character strings and ordering of nulls. And then you have preview results. Usually you're going to write your query and then preview your results right away to make sure your query returns. And by default, it's just showing you 500 records. So that is how to create a data set. And see, once you click OK, you go back here, you will have all of your columns that you brought in with your data set or you created as a derived column. And you can also just drag and drop this data set to start creating a new report. You could choose a few of the columns or all the columns, click OK, and your data set, you're ready to start reporting. And that is it, the basics for creating a data set.